WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday. Three hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets in higher territory right now. S&P is positive by two points, trading at 32.89. That's almost 10 points off the high, though. We were at 32.99 earlier in the day. Dow Jones up 97 points, trading 29,037. NASDAQ up 19 points at 92.70. We've got the gold contract up more than $10 right now at 15.54. Oil, negative 23 cents, but that's off the lows as well. We got EIA inventories at 10.30 a.m. this morning, a surprise draw of 2.5 million barrels. The market actually looking for a build. And the note and bond market, a little bit of higher price and lower yield. The 10-year up six ticks. 129.10, the 30 year up 18 ticks at 158.15. We're going to start it off with a chart of the 10 year yield. Quite a pullback we've had over the last two days. We were up there at about 1.86% to start off early, early Tuesday trading. And Wednesday, we got down to a low of 1.77% on the yield on that 10 year. Jumping over to the charts, we'll start it off with the indices. We'll start it off with the Dow. As I mentioned, off of the highs that we had, these are what are we looking at? A 15 minute chart. And just a little bit, within the last 15 minutes, we had the Dow pull back about 60 points. NASDAQ 100, a pullback as well. We were up there for a high in the NASDAQ 100 of 9,095. We're 30 points off that level, 9,065. S&P's pulling back as well. As I mentioned, we were up there at about 32.99. S&P futures currently trading 32.90. There's your gold contract, 15.54 right now. Oil, as I mentioned, we got a pullback on a surprise draw. That pretty remarkable, a huge gasoline build, though. The oil on the 1030 number trades from about $58 all the way down to a low of 57.38. And we're now right back at $58 in February crude. And the euro US dollar with some strength, euro trading 111.57. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, Target, they're pushing back in terms of their estimates on weakness in toys and electronics for a miss on their holiday sales as they guide down. 1.4%, excuse me, for same-store sales during the holidays as they were looking, well, 57 a year ago at least. And to see how Target is reacting today on that news, down about 7.2%. And other movers and shakers, Goldman, now up. Check out that reversal on their earnings. The conference call starts at 9 a.m. and whatever they said the market liked. And Bank of America still down about 2% on their earnings as well. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now with the Trader's Edge. Dave White live at 2 o'clock. Tom O'Brien live at 3. We'll be right back.